welcome. In today's video we're highlighting Lord and Greatstorm, a powerful Jedi Master who lived during the times of the High Republic. We'll take a closer look at the character, what his personality was like, as well as his powers, and what is this whole new High Republic deal. Before we answer those questions, my name is Ben, and I do Star Wars comic books and books reviews from canons and legends alike. If you enjoy this sort of content, you enjoy Star Wars lore, cool trivia, or interested in a particular book, feel free to subscribe, hit that bell button, and more cool content will be coming your way. First, let me help you situate yourself by answering the question, what is the High Republic? It's a new publishing campaign which goes across adult to young adult novels as well as comic books. Um, Loden Greatstorm, the character we're talking about today, he shows up in the first adult novel that was ever released. So this is the book, Light of the Jedi. You could even see Loden here on the cover. That's him, the, the green Twi'lek, okay? Just for the reference so you understand what's going on, this is the first book, but there's more on the way. There's a tie-in young adult novel, Into the Dark, which also just came out. And there's another children's book, A Test of Courage. Okay, now we're talking about specifically the Loden Great Storm character. Loden comes from a species called Twi'lek. Star Wars fans may know them for their signature Lekos which hang behind their shoulders. Within the Jedi Order, Great Storm is considered one of the better Jedi Masters, because he always seeks to better himself as well as the students around him. He is considered very powerful and wise, but at the same time he has a great sense of humor. To me personally, he reminds me a lot of uh, uh, Master Kenobi, but more of a casual and easygoing guy. In the light of the Jedi book, Loden Greatstorm is out there in the frontier with his young Padawan Bal Zadifar, and this is where the bulk of his powers are demonstrated. Uh, he wields a yellow lightsaber, and when they encounter the enemies, the Nile, which are the big new threat in the High Republic, uh, Loden Greatstorm demonstrates some awesome powers. He can levitate a whole number of his opponents at ease and drop them from great distance, hurting them but not killing them in the process. He deflects a lot of uh, uh, explosives with, with many, many small details, sharp, you know, and just brushes, brushes them off like nothing. Uh, there's also a pursuit uh, scene where he mind controls the pilot, the enemy pilot, and very, is very easily manipulating them into doing what he wants. Um, they land on a Nile ship and he's able to blow past huge metal doors like it's nothing. So you could see that as far as his Force abilities go, he's very, very powerful. In this section, I would like to talk a little bit about my impression of the character and where they will take him next. By the end of the book, Loden Greatstorm is taken hostage. I like that. I enjoy the characters and heroes who are vulnerable, who are not impossible to defeat, you know, like Superman, who brush off their opponent's attacks like it's nothing. The Jedi are powerful in the High Republic. They demonstrate some awesome powers, but they're also not invincible. The Nile, their opponents, have great new skills and tactics to disable them. So with Loden Greatstorm, my impression was that he's a very regal and powerful uh, and calm within the storm kind of character who projects a lot of uh, Jedi wisdom. And this is exactly how I pictured them as a kid when I was watching the original saga. The prequels felt a little bit different where the Jedi kind of went more into military roles and became the generals and were forced to fight the war that wasn't there by choice because they're peacekeepers. Um, this is what uh, Loden Greatstorm represents in this book. He's the peacekeeper, but when it's time to act, he thrust himself and his student into the action. As I mentioned earlier, by the end of the book, he's taken hostage by the leader of the Nile. Mark and Ra has some obsession with the Jedi, and the book hints at him digging into old and ancient lores and legends, and he wants something with the Jedi. And my hopes for the future of the series is to see the Sith arise, or some other dark side users or cultists, something like maybe Night Sisters or Witches of Dathomir, uh, that come about and either assist the Nile or confront the Jedi directly. And because it's supposed to be the height of the Republic, where it celebrates its peace and calm, there's no intergalactic war going on, and the Jedi are not military generals, they're just out there helping out all the planets and peoples in, in need, 
and all of a sudden if the shadow the veil of darkness covers the the galaxy i'll be interested to see how lord and great storm and his peers will respond to that kind of threat that's my video on lord and great storm i hope it got you curious about the high republic if you're interested in this kind of content and would like to hear about more popular characters from high republic from new star wars canon as well as from the legends books and comic books Feel free to subscribe and come back, and I'll have more cool material for you to check out. Thanks a lot. I appreciate your time, guys. See you next time.